Guys, welcome to probably one of the most skippable limited characters in the game. It's unfortunate because <laughs> look at that smile. Look at that smile. Uh, uh, maybe? No, 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 no. Welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the new upcoming update for probably the first half of December. And so there's going to be a lot of different exciting things, a lot of different ways to rectify our mistakes and some new like some new packs, I guess. But on top of that, the greatest thing is the free pulls. And there is actually quite a fair bit to talk about or just a little bit, sorry, to talk about for this one over here because there will be some overlap. There is going to be some bleed into like the next banner and all of that stuff. And so today, hopefully we are able to keep it short. And so let's go through each of these different things. And so my guys, welcome to X Ayane or also known as Holiday Ayane. And so Holiday Ayana will be available from the banner from the 7th of December up until the 20th of December. And so we just need to keep this end date in mind because again, it's going to bleed over where the free pools are. So 20th of December, just keep that in mind. And so before we move on, let's have a quick look at Christmas Ayane herself. And so welcome to the world of Christmas. Christmas Ayane, oh, sorry, Holiday Ayane. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get that right. If you guys do want to mold, if you guys thought that the Ilya experience was not enough, then welcome and you should roll for a Christmas Ayane. And so let's kick things off with the UB where she does massive physical damage, but she is also going to be dealing a little bit of damage to herself. I say a little bit, but like, eh, you know what I'm saying? To be honest, she is a very, very straightforward character with like very straightforward skills. So skill one, she just gets a massive physical buff. And then moving on to skill two, we have Inflict medium physical damage to the frontmost enemy, knockback, usually you won't see them in effect in clan battle. And so really with all of that simple kit, you can already kind of see, right? Like that's that's kind of all, all she's doing. That's a, that's a really, really simple loot pattern. I actually think that this loot pattern is actually really freaking cracked because like you're going auto into a one and two, and then you're looping that. You're only spending about 33% of your time in like a, an auto or a normal attack mode. Aside from that, you're actually upping your DPS like so that that, that buff there is actually quite frequent. But regardless, again, you will be pulling for INA Christmas version if you are like very, 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 very competitive in clan battle. Most clans, including a lot of the top 10, as well as like probably the majority of like everybody actually, you're probably gonna be looking at skipping Christmas Ayane. And the fact of the matter is that there are just way too many high priority units that are coming right after her. And so look at that, New Year's Yui right after the Christmas Ayane banner. And so as you can see, we're gonna actually bleed over this month as well. But not only is New Year's Yui super top priority, we've also got the Valentine Shizuru over there and then Mwimi straight after that. And so now that I've shown you guys this sheet, you will have noticed a couple of things here. The first of all, the three star guarantee. And so with that, let's hop back to Ayane, realize that I have already finished talking about her, CB, don't pull for her if you're not like, yeah, if you're not in a good place, you definitely don't pull for her. Anyway, so again, we see that three star guarantee. I think we are finally getting one. So that's pretty cool. So this bad boy, three star guarantee, premium gacha, one time offer. Uh, this comes like every so often and it is essentially 1,500 premium gems. So a normal 10 pull, except all of these gems do have to be paid. And if you do spend that, you are able to get a guaranteed three star. But just do note that these guaranteed three stars are only from the perma pool. And so honestly, at launch, I actually did this. And what happened was like, you know, it was day three of Princess Connect and I got a dupe Monica. I, I was so, so upset. And so unfortunately, if you guys are veterans, like this is a hard pass. I know for a fact that if we're looking at spending and stuff, there are definitely better packs. It's just going to be a matter of time, hopefully, before they are going to bring them out. And so unless you're trying to fish out like a Ruka or something, which it's it's still pretty unlikely because the pool is getting bigger and bigger. I would certainly pass on this one. However, if you are a new person and you are missing a significant amount of the three star permas and you're willing to spend a little bit, then yeah, I would definitely take this one actually. It's funny because that was my situation and I still got screwed with the dupe. But I digress, let's move on. All right, so we have the daily free 10 draws here. Hooray! And so these daily free 10 draws are going to span 13 days from 12.11 up to 12.24. And so if you guys do remember, it was 20th of December that this guy ends. So Holiday Ayane banner. Now, again, who is coming after Holiday Ayane? It is... Da -da -da -da, New Year's Yui. It is time. It is finally time 
for our second biggest target of the year. And not only is it the New Year's Yui banner, it is also a festival banner. Again, prefez, 5% three-star rates, 0.7% for the New Year's Yui, as well as 0.35% for the Christina. I know some of you definitely skipped the Christina to be able to go for the New Year's Yui and Christina at this banner. And so you'll be pleased to know that we'll be able to, if you do it right, get 40 pulls into the New Year's banner for free. So that's what I mean by like, you gotta be careful, right? So again, we are getting 13 free 10 pulls. And so Crunchyroll actually mentions it themselves over here. And yes, you'll also be able to use these free 10 draws on the next gacha after INA Holidays Focus gacha ends on the 20th. However, what this means is that you need to save that free 10 draw on that day. And so let me kind of paint the timeline, right? So we've hit the 20th like on reset, from reset until nine hours after reset, it's actually going to still be the Ayana banner. And so what that means is that you need to wait after those nine hours, it's gonna switch over to the prefez banner, and then you're gonna be able to do the 10 draw on that one. So yeah, be very, very careful because if you get that 10 draw onto the X Ayana banner, this is going to turn, this 90 to 40 is gonna turn into 130. Hopefully you guys have dapped down Pat in your mind. It's freaking just like, oh, I cannot miss the 10 pull because some of you are gonna one shot that New Year's Yui. I can already feel it. Anyway, aside from that, 130 free draws. I'm freaking keen, man. I'm so itchy to pull, to be honest. But then again, I literally just pulled, so I don't really have an excuse. All right, so moving on, we've got a Lunar Tower coming out with the new 20 floors and probably another EX, yep, on 150. Same, same, not really much to talk about. You definitely could actually save these hearts for the next batch because in the next batch of UEs, we are going to be having the Arisa as well as the Yukari who both really want their UEs. However, in my case, it is certainly going onto the Pekarin. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. All right, again, Lunar Tower, it should be super, super cinch, especially because we have the Christina. Let's move on to the December clan battle. Not too much to talk about this one, except for the fact that we can start using the Ray because she has the UE. But on top of that, you're gonna notice comps with the Hiori, especially because she has her UE as well. And so the last thing to highlight for this one is that we will be getting the Makoto shards. And so if you guys still have not hit the five stars or even the four stars, hopefully that will help. All right, and so this bad boy is going to go from the 15th all the way to the 20th. And so that's about almost like just under two weeks away. And the majority of you already know, we are gonna be comparing this guy down with this one over here. Normal quest two times, it is starting from the 12th of the 12th. And so it does look like we are gonna be getting three days to pre-farm for the next ranks. All right, and so popping back up over here, we've got the game update where we're going from 115 to 118. But not only that, we are also going from 11.5 all the way to 12.3. So, oh, oh dear, oh dear Lord. It is precisely for reasons like this that I, went more casual. Unfortunately, I have left my top 10 guild. I'm just not being able to keep up anymore. And so yeah, that's um, that's that's a lot of refreshing. That's, uh, yeah. But on the bright side, we are getting another note from Misaki. If you guys don't know, Misaki is pretty prevalent in Arena when her UE drops. So that is really nice to see. And on top of that, we are also getting another Jita note. So if you guys don't have Jita, that'd be pretty sick. But on top of that, Jita with her UE is also quite strong, especially for the context of clan battle. All right, and so all of that is gonna be coming in area 19 and we're just going to be getting more main stories chapter 10 episodes 1 to 4 always sweet and so the next thing that we do have is the furniture ah here we go it's stuff like this that reminds me that there is a real life outside and that it's it's christmas time the time of festivities the time of holidays the time of uh doing other stuff Anyway, an awesome furniture set, but there is unfortunately not too much I can talk about for that. All right, here we go. The good stuff, normal quest times two for about like four or five days. And then we got hard mode after that for another four or five days. Unfortunately, this time, I think the hard quest, there might be a need to actually dump a lot of the stamina into farming the equipment from like the latest nodes, as opposed to like actually getting shards from some of the like pre-farming. So for me, I was pre-farming like Awi and Misaki. There is a pretty strong chance that like 180 of that stamina that I would be putting into other units are going into like the latest node. So I'm talking like the, the Misaki, the Jita and the Mahiru node. Unfortunately, these equipment requirements are just getting like really, really freaking dank. And so yeah, that's, 
that's just how it is all right but otherwise i think that is it oh man that was um that was a little bit packed for me pretty happy with that update again they have not deviated from jp really we are still getting the free rolls we are hopefully going to be getting the new year's yui directly after on the prefez banner we're also going to be getting the lunar tower which will be very very nice especially if you forgot to equip your ue onto your pekrin but otherwise very, very standard update. Let's put it that way. I mean, it's not that standard, right? We've got, we got freaking free pulls, right? Come on, guys. But yeah, at this point, my dudes, it's got to be clockwork, right? Like, you guys already know what's going on. And so all that's left is to ask you guys, are you freaking hyped? Are you hyped about this update? Maybe you guys do really like Christmas Ayane. Or maybe you're looking at the free rolls or you're looking at the guaranteed gacha. For me personally, I am super itchy, so I cannot wait for this. But on top of that, I am so keen for the Lunar Tower because I am going to get my Pekka and her freaking sword. And so that's what I'm hyped about. But you guys let me know what you're hype about if you are hyped at all down in the comments below. Because leaving a comment means that you've made it up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. Otherwise, my pre-con gang, you already know what's up. If you would like to help this video do well, then please give it a like. And if for some reason you guys have not subscribed yet, then please, please love me. But otherwise, we are entering the Christmas festivities. And so Christmas Ayane has once said to me, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.